associated with the post-hike aches and pains, including tight hips and hamstrings, aching quads, and tension in the back and shoulders. Yoga is an excellent way to reduce soreness after a day on the trail. Let's explore some specific poses that might help us alleviate that post-hike soreness. I am not a medical professional. I'm not licensed to diagnose or treat any medical condition. Let's start out with a reverse tabletop. We want our knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Our palms flat on the mat, our fingertips pointing toward our backside. On an inhale, lift the hips, pressing toward the ceiling. And we're breathing. to all fours. We want our hips over our knees and our shoulders, arms, and wrists all in line. On an inhale, lift the tailbone. Let the belly drop, chest forward, face forward for cow. And as we exhale, tuck the tailbone, pull the belly button toward the spine, chin to chest for cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone, let the belly drop, face forward. Exhale, bring the, tuck the tailbone, belly button toward the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the tailbone, chest forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest. Beautiful. Returning to a neutral spine. On an inhale, tuck your toes. And as you exhale, press into the mat and lift your hips for downward facing dog. We're pressing our heels toward the mat, but they don't need to touch. And we're pressing our chest toward our thighs. Gently start to walk your feet towards your hands for a forward fold. If your palms don't reach the mat, you can use a block. to your shins and lift halfway to a flat back and as you exhale fold back down bending your knees slowly roll up through your spine to standing arms overhead palms facing reaching for the ceiling and lower the arms beautiful Coming to a wide-legged stance on our mat. On an inhale, raise the arms up. And as you exhale, hinging at the hips, leading with the chest, swan dive forward into a wide-legged forward fold. Bringing your hands to the mat or to a block. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Bend the knees, slowly rise up. On an inhale, lift the arms overhead. And as you exhale, bending the knees, bring the palms to the mat and step back into plank, the top of a push-up. Lower yourself down, either knees, chest, chin, 
for Chaturanga, keeping your elbows close to your body. Inhale, keeping the palms on the mat. Lift the head and chest for a baby cobra. And lower. Coming through all fours, tuck your toes, press into the mat and lift your hips for downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg behind you and step it through outside your right hand. You can lower your back knee. And we're breathing. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can try bringing your forearms down to the mat, keeping your knee close to your shoulder. our spine long and we're breathing. Beautiful. Place your hands on the mat. Come back through all fours. On an inhale, tuck your toes and as you exhale, press into the mat, lift your hips for downward facing dog. Pressing your heels toward the mat and your chest toward your knees. On an inhale, lift your left leg behind you and step it through to the outside of your left hand. You can drop your back knee. Our spine is long and we're breathing. We're keeping our knee close to our shoulder. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can try dropping down onto your forearms. Keeping our spine long and breathing. Rising up to our hands. Bring your leg back to all fours. On an inhale, tuck your toes. And as you exhale, press into the mat and lift your hips for downward facing dog. Pressing our chest toward our thighs, our heels toward the mat. Beautiful. Drop down to the knees. Keeping the knees apart, bring the toes together. Sink your hips to your heels. Bring your chest between your thighs, your forehead to the mat. Arms are long for child's pose. legs long out in front of us, our spine long. Inhale our arms up. Lift our right leg, cross it over our left so our foot is flat on the mat. Bringing your right arm to the mat behind you. Bend your left elbow, bringing your left elbow to your right knee and twist to gaze over your right shoulder. Our spine is long and we're breathing. As you inhale, picture your spine lengthening. And as you exhale, maybe you can move a little bit deeper into the twist. And maybe not. And that's fine. Beautiful. Release the arms, uncross the leg. Keeping our legs out long, inhale the arms up. Bending the left knee, cross the left knee over the right leg, putting the foot flat on the mat. Bringing our left hand behind us on the mat, bending our right arm, right elbow to the left knee, and twisting to gaze over our left shoulder. 
As you inhale, picture your spine lengthening. And as you exhale, maybe you can move a little bit deeper into the twist. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the day on the trail.